now in this video we're just going to make an introductory uh, look at the LM393. There's other uh, letters before the 393, but the main thing is the 393. So it's just a comparator integrated circuit, even though it has the same schematic symbol as an op amp. And if I lower the voltage enough, I actually set a voltage. Uh, at that point it's comparing them. Then the uh, LED comes on. That's because it's a PNP bipolar junction transistor. We need a low output uh, to turn it on. Now, um, we can be anywhere below that, but uh, you'll see if I set it uh, real close to a halfway, uh, perfectly halfway I should say, the LED just gets dim. It's not completely on or off, so it's not a Schmidt trigger integrated circuit. We would just have to use positive feedback if that's what you need. So now as I do with uh, many of my videos where I introduce something with a changing voltage, I got a trim pot here. Very easy way to adjust an output voltage. We have the positive supply there, negative supply there. Depending on where I turn the trim pot, we get a percentage of that uh, voltage. The inputs don't let current in or out. It just looks at that voltage. So now you'll see down here a third pin down. So that's where we are. That is the uh, plus uh, input. That is the non-inverting input. You gotta make sure you pay close attention on the schematic. Sometimes they put the plus above uh, the minus. But in case that's our signal voltage coming in. So now the uh, output for this left side uh, comparator there is uh, the top left pin, pin number one there. So we're gonna take a, a 10,000 ohm resistor, put it to the base of the PNP bipolar junction transistor. You can see that the emitter on top there, so the flat sides to the left, emitter on top, base in the middle, and collector at uh, the bottom is to the positive supply. Pretty uh, standard way to wire up a PMP bipolar junction transistor. So then we got our load here. The transistor is either on or off or somewhere in between. But in any case, that conducts positive supply over to 220 ohm resistor protecting the LED. Again, the long lead, the LED, more positive, short lead, the uh, cathode. Uh, more negative. And now we'll zoom into a more interesting part of uh, an open collector output here. So uh, first off, as you can see, we have the uh, power pin shown on there. That's pin 8, positive supply, and uh, pin 4 down there, negative supply. So you yeah, always got to power it. Sometimes those aren't uh, shown on there. But um, we are going to take a 10 kilo ohm resistor there. You can see it's going from the positive supply to the output. That's because the output actually does not output a positive voltage. It just connects to ground or it's off. And uh, so the way to get a positive voltage is uh, with the pull up resistor, which holds the PMP bipolar junction transistor off actually. It only turns on when the output's low. And being a comparator uh, circuit, we have our uh, signal there. This is our reference voltage, that's the uh, voltage where the output's going to change at depending on whether this one ends up higher or lower. So we have a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So that value doesn't really matter, but uh, for this video we want equal uh, value and uh, that's going to the uh, positive rail to the inverting input there. And then I have another uh, 10k uh, resistor right here, 10,000 ohms. Since they're equal value, that means we'll get half of the supply voltage, which is 2.5 volts because I'm using uh, 5 volts right there. And uh, that's it for wiring up, but uh, it's kind of crowded there. So I figured I would do a step-by-step -step build to make it a little easier to see. But we have that reference 2.5 volts to the inverting. And uh, so at the non-inverting, if it gets higher than that, closer to five volts, output is high, which actually means it turns off as we'll look at uh, coming up. And we drop below 2.5 volts. Then the output is low, which actually does connect uh, to ground. And of course, you should always have the power off while you're building the circuit, but now we have it on and we'll make sure that it's working properly, and it is. And uh, really quickly, we're gonna end with some notes that I got down here. So, as I said before, the 393, I have the LM393, I think that's most common, um, but you may see other numbers in front of it, uh, other letters in front of it, but uh, they're just dual comparators. They're a comparator on one side and a comparator on the other side. They are not op amps. Their output is actually an NPN bipolar junction transistor, the collector part of it right there. That's why it's open collector. That's all it connects to is a uh, transistor as far as the circuitry within the uh, comparator here is. And uh, so when the transistor is off, it's uh, just an off uh, switch, uh, basically. That's why we have that pull-up resistor. And uh, with that pull-up resistor, you can get the full supply voltage. That's uh, one benefit 
uh, to having the open collector output here. And uh, when it doesn't let current through, like the, the base doesn't of the PNP, when it's high, then it just holds that voltage. You know you got a solid 5 volts. Remember, a lot of integrated circuits can't get up to that 5 volts. They really struggle. And uh, so now, once the circuitry tells this transistor to turn on, a little bit of base to emitter current, then uh, current can flow collector to emitter. It's on uh, completely. And so whatever current gets through that pull-up resistor just goes to ground. So everything else just sees ground uh, right there. Um, that's how it works. Hopefully that makes sense. It does have a sink uh, limit, though. Remember, it's sinking because you think positive there, and then it's sinking down to ground. Um, of uh, 16 milliamps of current, so not a lot of power with these. So um, you're probably going to see it with uh, transistors or other uh, integrated circuit inputs that uh, don't need uh, much current or other transistors that don't need much current. But in any case, I may have made a mistake, plus the data sheet has a lot more info than I provide in my videos. So always consult the data sheet. Don't just go by uh, any video you see.